Okay, hello and welcome to this video presentation on essential oils for skin care. So about me, about Anna Laura, my name is Anna Laura Brown and I blog online as well at AnnaLauraBrown.com. I am a user and educator of essential oils since 2011 and in 2015 I graduated from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition and became a certified health coach. I am gluten free and dairy free. Not by choice, obviously, as most of us don't choose that by choice, but I had to due to a lot of health issues, including a lot of skin and digestive issues. And I am a health and wellness blogger as well. Okay, so what are essential oils? Essential oils are extracts from plants. They are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs, and one drop of peppermint oil equals 28 drops of peppermint tea. Another thing people also don't realize is because they are extracted from the plant, they actually don't contain any of the plant protein. And so as a result, there are no vitamins or minerals in essential oils. So for example, lemon or orange essential oil, even though the lemon or orange itself has a lot of vitamin C. There's no vitamin C in lemon or orange essential oil. And by default, because there's no protein, there are no, no gluten, no dairy, no soy, no peanuts. None of those things are in any of the essential oils. It's just an extract from a plant. And also, just because you are allergic to the plant doesn't mean you're automatically by default going to have allergies to the essential oil. So for example, for me, I'm allergic to lavender, the plant, but I am not allergic to lavender essential oil. And in fact, the lavender essential oil actually really helps me a lot with my allergies. Okay, so different kinds of essential oils. There are perfume, food, synthetic, therapeutic, and CPTG are certified pure therapeutic grade. Now, perfume is the one that kinds that a lot of people are generally familiar with. And these are the synthetic essential oils that are in the perfumes and the colognes that help give it a nice smell, that kind of thing. And generally, there's a really small amount of the essential oil, and it is processed in a completely different way from a therapeutic type of essential oil. Food, so these are the kinds of essential oils that you will find in different kinds of foods more commonly in things like gum and cough drops. And again, these are not you know, quite as high quality, but they are formulated in such a way that they can be used in food. Synthetic, so these are... Despite what the label might say or what they might try to lead you to believe, a lot of the essential oils that you buy, especially the really inexpensive ones like at Walmart and Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, some of these stores are what would be considered a synthetic. And in the United States, they're only required to have 3% of an essential oil in a bottle in order for it to claim that it's 100% pure. And so a lot of these bottles will say they're 100% pure and they really aren't. So, you know, I could lecture for a long time about how to figure out if one really is pure or not. One of the main things is if they are charging the same price for every essential oil, then you know by default there's no way they can be pure. Also, because the essential oils, real pure therapeutic ones, should have different prices depending on the oil and how hard it is to get the oil. The other thing, too, is if you do some research online and find out how much different oil are selling for if the particular oil is being sold for a lot cheaper price than what you would expect or than what you know you find at a lot of other places and it means that's a clue that it's definitely probably at least partly synthetic. Okay, therapeutic is the kinds of essential oils that can be used for therapeutic for medical purposes and for helping you know, with different health and wellness issues. And CPTG stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, and it is a trademark used specifically by doTERRA, which is the brands of essential oils that I love to use and recommend. And yes, I have used other brands before, and so I am very well aware of what is out there. And, you know, there are some really good things out there. However, I have really fallen in love with doTERRA and found it to be better. And it was created by doTERRA to help distinguish their oils that go through their specific stringent testing properties from the other kinds of therapeutic oils that are available on the market. Okay, so best essential oils for skin care. Here are some of the best ones. So lavender, geranium, ylang ylang, and melaleuca are some of the best ones. Lavender is a really good one all around for any kind of like a sting, a bite, a burn, that kind of thing. But of course it goes without saying that if you really have a severe issue, you want to make sure that you do see a medical professional and that oils do not cure you from anything, but they can just help assist your body in, in the healing process. 
Okay, so geranium is a really good one for any kind of a hormonal issue. So, you know, if you think you're having some kind of a skin breakout and it may be connected to hormones, you can attempt to use some geranium to help with that. Ylang Ylang is actually one of the more popular essential oils that gets used in a lot of perfumes. And so it can be really good smelling and also really good, you know, a natural form of a natural perfume as well as also has some properties that can help with balancing hormones as well. Melaleuca, otherwise known as tea tree, is another really good one to help assist with some different skin issues, um, breakouts, that kind of thing as well. And also has really strong antibacterial properties. So, you know, if you have something that you think might be caused by some kind of a bacteria problem, then you can also use that as well. Okay, but um, then some of the other ones would be rosemary, grapefruit, and frankincense. So rosemary is known especially for its ability to help with like dry scalp and if you have like some kind of a uh, problem with your hair, like too much oily hair, that kind of thing, then rosemary can be used with that. Although, of course, you could also use it directly on your skin as well. Grapefruit is a really good one for helping to smooth wrinkles and help with things like um, if you, you know how a lot of times when you lose weight you end up with some kind of, you know, like a stretch mark or something on you, grapefruit can be used to help with that. It can also be helped to use to help with maintaining a healthy weight and uh, metabolism, that kind of thing. And frankincense is really known as the anti-aging oil, so it can be used to help improve your skin and help you look a little bit younger as well. Okay, so you can also make your own skincare with essential oils. So down here I have a list of some of the more popular ingredient things that you can use with essential oil. So we have shea butter, olive oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and Epsom salts. Shea butter is a really good thing to mix with an essential oil and use to create like your own lotions. Olive oil, coconut oil, and grapeseed oil are really good carrier oils that you can use to add in a couple drops of the oil and help to spread things around a little bit more on your skin, help with the soothing, help um, avoid having any kind of a problem like if you might have some kind of a skin irritation with an essential oil, you could use those as carrier oils as well. And Epsom salts are really good for soaking in the bathtub with essential oils and can you know also be used with some kind of like your own homemade scrub as well. Okay, so you can also buy pre-made skincare products with essential oils. So one thing here you see in the picture is doTERRA's Mud Mask, which is really good for being able to help um, with detoxing from the skin. And it's made out of a natural earth clay, and I really, really like using that. And then doTERRA has a whole line of cleansers and anti-aging products, moisturizers, that kind of thing. So as you can see here, you can learn more and join it as a wholesale member to purchase products at discoveroilsnow.com or you can also go to analarabrown.com slash wellness to schedule a free consultation. And also you can go to group.analarabrown.com to get your free copy of an ebook on skincare with essential oils plus several more. So highly recommend that you join me online, request a free consultation or check out my website and the skincare products or you can also join my Facebook group and learn more and have a conversation in there. So anyhow, I hope you found this presentation useful and I look forward to hearing from you.